What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Plouffe, and this episode is brought to you by DraftKings. Now, today we have an awesome episode. In fact, it's a bat, in my opinion, altered the franchise of the Kansas City Royals. Now, I don't just say that for the clickbait. I really believe it to be true. Now, we're talking about the Salvador Perez 2014 AL wildcard walk-off winner. There's so much to love about this 2014 Royals team. I got to see it up close and personal, but you had the young guys. You had Hosmer, Moustakis, you had Kane coming up. You had Alex Gordon, who was a bona fide superstar at the time. And then you had what ultimately changed the way that bullpens were used. Their bullpen with Kelvin Herrera, Wade Davis, and Greg Holland. Nobody had ever put a bullpen like that together and used it the way the Kansas City Royals do. And now it's kind of commonplace. You have your starters go five, and you let the guys come from the bullpen and eat. And you knew when you were playing the Royals during those years that you better have a significant lead going into the latter part of the game because if you didn't, you weren't scoring anymore. And these guys could chip away. That's what they did. So this year, 2014 in particular, the Royals took a huge step forward. They ended up with 89 wins, second in the AL Central to the Detroit Tigers. They bested Oakland by one game, who won 88 games, and that's why they were hosting the game at Kauffman Stadium. I think that was a big advantage for them going into Kauffman at the time. The fans were super into it. It was very loud and very hard to go in there and win games. Now, mostly it was because of the team, but I really do believe it was a hostile atmosphere. So Oakland comes into this game. They got a good team, a typical Oakland team. You got the Coco Chris, Brandon Moss, even Nick Punto showing up there. Sean Doolittle's in this game. A bunch of guys who you'd recognize. Even my boy Sam Fold. I forgot to mention Sam Fold. He's in this game as well. So Oakland comes into town, and they punch the Royals in the face right away. They go up 7-3 to three on a Brandon Moss three-run homer. Coco Chris two-run single. But the Royals do what the Royals do. They chip away. They chip away. And then finally in the ninth inning off of Sean Doolittle, Nori Aoki hits a sacrifice fly to tie the game. And do you know who started that rally off? My buddy and mentor, Josh Willingham. Entered the game for Moustakis. Bloop single. Got pinch run for by Gerard Dyson, who was a weapon. And they end up tying the game. Now the game goes into the 12th. And the A's take a one-run lead on an Alberto Cayaspo pinch hit single. So now the ball's in the Royals' court. They got to do something about it. They got to come back and score two or at least one in the 12th to move on in the playoffs and cement their legacy. So let's get to the at-bat. Let's show kind of how the 12th started off. And then we'll get to the Salvador Perez at bat. But before we do, you guys know the drill. Here's the ad read. What's up, my people? It's Trevor Plouffe telling you there are 100 million reasons why you should listen up. DraftKings, the leader in one-day fantasy sports, is celebrating the return of sports by giving away up to $100 million in prizes to all of their customers, including one lucky winner who will take home a $1 million cash prize. To claim your share of up to 100 million in instant giveaways, all you have to do is download the app and sign up using promo code JOHNBOY. Then enter DraftKings free football survivor pool. Yes, it's really that easy to claim your share of up to 100 million in instant giveaways and put yourself in the running to win a $1 million cash prize. While the top prize is reserved for one lucky winner, everyone who signs up and enters DraftKings free football survivor pool will receive an instant bonus prize of at least $5 in value upon entering. While you're in the app, don't forget to check out all of the great odds, boosts, and promotions DraftKings Sportsbook is offering every day to celebrate this week's baseball and golf action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code JOMBOY to claim your share of $100 million in instant giveaways and put yourself in the running for the $1 million cash top prize. That's promo code JOMBOY, J-O-M-B-O-Y, to get your share of $100 million in prizes only at DraftKings. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey only. Other terms and conditions and restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. All right, guys. Here we are in the bottom of the 12th inning. And we got my man Hosmer in a 2-2 count with one out. We'll see what he does here. He gets a pitch that he likes. And whack. 
Now, everybody in Coffin Stadium was blowing. <laughs> go, go, go. But it ends up off the wall. The A's outfielders are playing tackle, and there goes Hosmer. Run, run, run. Ends up at third base. I'm sure he's going to be stoked right here. Let's see. He's pretty fired up. He should be. He's on third base, less than two outs, and that's what you got to do. That's coming up clutch. This is the birth of Hosmer, and he's a stud. Still playing, doing it with the Slam Diego Padres right now. But that's a big-time A-B. Look at him go. Gets the pitch elevated and puts good wood on it. All right, now we got Christian Cologne up, and there he goes. And it's the chopper, and Hosmer gets a great read. He scores. The game is now tied. 8-8 eight to eight in the bottom of the 12th, and the place is going nuts. Bob Melvin stunned. Everybody's stunned. This game has been back and forth, and this is a wild card game. It's one game, people. 162 games, down to one game, no big deal, everything on the line. Christian Cologne ties it up. Everyone is going nuts. Watch how high this goes. Hosmer with the good read, and Donaldson has no chance at it. So here we are, tied 8-8. Eight to eight. Let's get to Sal's at bat. Okay, we're back with Sal's at bat here. Cologne is on first base. There's two outs right here. And they know that he's probably going to run. Kansas City was very aggressive at this time uh, with two outs and Salvador up. They wanted to get this guy into scoring position. So right before this, there was a little pickoff attempt. But here comes Big Bad Sal, who's 0 for 5 today. But he doesn't care about that. None of the great players do. They don't see the defeats or worry about them. It's always on to the next at bat. And Sal is that kind of guy, the guy you want up in a situation like this. Now we got Hamill on the mound. Not a great matchup for Sal. You know, you're going to watch this a bat and see why, but there's his numbers. 260 average, 17 home runs, 70 RBIs. And here we go. Sal's in there, first pitch. Slider up and in. That's a good take and exactly what you want if you're a hitter right there. You get the first pitch for a ball. It's a breaking ball. You should be able to feel pretty locked in right now. So not a lot of shifting going on in this game, which you know you probably wouldn't see anymore. Um, outfield's got to be playing no doubles. Donaldson's probably on the line at third base playing no doubles. And here comes Hamels again with a 1-0. Another slide ball, and Sal does not look very good on that pitch. He's way out in front. Now, you've thrown two sliders to him now. He knows he's out in front. You know, what are you going to do? The count is one and one. Christian Colon still on first base. And slider down in the dirt. And, I mean, it's as bad as you can look in three pitches right there. You know, Sal... Obviously out in front, not seeing that slider very well. So now he's down in the hole, one and two. And this is a point where like, okay, we've seen the breaking balls now. Christian's probably going to be taking off here, um, anticipating another breaking ball, and he's trying to get into scoring position uh, with two outs here. All right, Hamill comes set on the one-two pitch, picking off again. Bob Melvin, former catcher, he understands that at this point of the game, they're looking to go ahead and get on second base, and they almost get him right here. Very close. He's got that oven mitt looking thing on to protect his fingers, and he got back just in time. But now he's getting off again. I'm telling you, this guy wants to get on second base. He really wants to get on second base, and there he goes. The Oakland A's read it perfectly, and Derek Norris just drops the ball. They had it read. Bob knew it all along. Go to the pitch out, perfectly executed, except you forgot to catch it. He was trying to gun that thing down, took his eyes off the ball. You see it all the time. Can't do that. You know, got to catch the ball first. Sal's like, thank you. Now my guy is on second base. The 2-2 two, two pitch coming up right here. And another bad swing by Sal. Kind of a backup slider right there. Nothing you can do except foul that pitch off. He's lucky that he fouled it off instead of hitting a ground ball to the third baseman. But he's battling. 
to sell batting. This is what he does. He's not an easy out. He never was. Uh, free swinger, yes. We've seen it in this at bat, but he battles. So 2-2, two, two, we've seen all off-speed pitches so far, except for the pitch out. And here we go. Down and away. He sticks his bat out, ropes one down the third baseline, and that is the ball game. Now let's go back and just see it right here. Watch where this pitch is. Watch the point of contact. He just gets the job done past a diving Donaldson, who is now, because the runner's on second base, not playing no doubles. Any other pitch during that at bat, he's all over that. That ball gets thrown to first base. They go into the 13th inning. But because he moved over, balls down the line, Royals win. We see him celebrating. One of the best games you're probably ever going to see. Now, they went to the World Series that year, lost to the San Francisco Giants. There's my boy Steve. Heartbreak City for the A's. This Royals team then went on and killed it in 2015, went and ended up winning the World Series, beating the Mets, I believe, and really set all these guys up for life. Moustakis got paid. Lorenzo got paid. Hosmer got paid. Perez got paid. Wade got paid. Holland got Everybody got paid. And I really believe this was the game that started it off, all off. They got confidence, and they knew that they could, if they could come back in this game, they can come back in any game. And it was a lot of fun to watch these guys kind of grow and become world champions. So Sal Perez, take your lap, man. One of the good guys in the game, too, an excellent catcher. It's always fun to revisit this moment. Here is the, <laughs> the slow-mo. And Donaldson, the, the pitch before, when Cologne was on first base, he's right there, doesn't even have to move. Let's go back and just watch this, this point of contact. Ugh. You made a great pitch there. The guy hooks it. Your positioning's just off, and you lose the game. But that is baseball, and it's a beautiful thing. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Sequence. We'll be back next week with an awesome guest, someone who I think you guys are really going to love. Thanks for sticking with us. We'll see you later.